So the public has decided, so I deliver. Here's the second episode of In Search for the Best Free Scene. Today's free scene may be simple, but it sounds very powerful. I always take my time searching for free plugins that are great. I don't think that every free plugin is worth it. So if you appreciate that, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Gear 8 or Great is made by Future Tone, and their motto is virtual devices with vintage analog vibes. We know that when you say analog in the digital domain, it means that the product must be good. So let's check it out. Now, as last time, if you want me to continue the series, let's get to 1000 views and 150 likes. We managed that easily on the last video, so it's going to be easy for this one too. This is their first VST synthesizer. The other ones that they have are for Reactor. Because of the name and the architecture, I think is a Jupiter emulation, but I haven't been able to confirm that. The thing that makes me suspect that are the two oscillators with cross-mod modulation and of course a little bit of the interface. It looks a bit similar but it can be inspired by other Jupiters and you know some even other synthesizers. <laughs> interface is straightforward and I gotta say the design is beautiful. It shows that the developer took his time when working on this. Now the synth on itself is pretty basic. As I say, it has two oscillators with cross modulation, a variable slope filter with a non-variable high pass filter, two envelopes, one is for amplitude and an LFO. The extensions for the LFO are set and you can apply it on the filter or on the pitch. You can change the behavior of the envelope, apply velocity for the filter or the amplitude, and you can also control the pulse wheel of oscillator 1 with the LFO or the envelope. That's basically it. As I said, it's basic, especially if you're comparing it with Search or Vital or any other of those great free synths. But that doesn't take away from the greatness that this one has. As you heard, it sounds very good. So if you want that vintage analog vibey kind of sound, you just have to load up GR8 and make a simple sound with that vibe. I gotta say, the filter sounds very good, and of course, when testing these analog inspired plugins, you have to make a filter sweep. I don't make the rules. Now, as this is basic and also it has a great design, I'd say it's also a great synthesizer for beginners because you get familiar with the most important concepts. We also have parameters for the voicing. We can set it to be unison, and the great thing is that we can spread the unison. Or you can also play chords, which you program right here. The mod wheel and the pitch wheel can be set also for the filter, and finally we have an arpeggiator. It's very simple, it syncs to your project and it will give you the results that you will expect from an ARP. I make all of these videos because I love to share my passion for music. But of course, I also have to pay the bills and eat. So please consider joining my Patreon, my members page, or give me a donation, buy my preset packs. Anything you want, the links are going to be in the description. Thank you so much. Now, where this synthesizer really shines compared to others that are similar in terms of basic features, it's on the effects. They are six and they are pretty deep. But deep in terms of sound because they are also easy to set. Again, making this a very straightforward plugin, which is great for advanced users and also for beginners.
The Q has three bands and you can change the frequency and the Q for the middle band. The distortion has four types, which is great. The saturation is your typical saturation thing, <laughs> but you can also play with folder, a uh, decimator, and even a ring modulator. The phaser sounds very lush, I'm just missing a feedback control, but that's okay. And the chorus also sounds great, it has that vintage vibey chorus sound. But you can also set it to be a flanger. Finally, the delay is set to be stereo, you cannot set it to be ping pong, and the reverb also sounds very good. I don't know how they made the algorithm, but I like it. Those are the basic controls, but again, only with these you can get very different kind of sounds. So let's make some noise. heard I tried to make sounds that were very different from one another. But let's also try to go to the extreme, making some sort of sound effect or something more weird. Thanks to the cross modulation, the rate of the LFO and the distortion on other effects, you can get crazy results. But of course to test the full potential of the synth and as we did last episode with synth 1, I'm going to make a small track only using GR8 even for the drums. So let's go! So what's left if that you tell me in the comments what do you think about this synthesizer. Also let me know which other free synths you consider to be the best so I can check them out. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time and bye bye.